Hi and hello and welcome to another episode of Mad Jacko Labs and I shall be your host, teacher and guide, Dr. Johnny Hellfire. And today what we're going to do is a fun little experiment with DOSBox on the Raspberry Pi. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go to the link below on setting up DOSBox and all that crap. But anyways, I've been trying to get Windows 3.1 on a thumb drive, and I have yet to figure it out, but I will get that down soon. SOON! But for now, I'll settle for the Raspberry Pi. So, what you need to do first is go into DOSBox. Da, 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 da. Like I said, go to the video before that I have previously set this up on, and you'll understand everything. Plus, they'll skip a few other things as well. Alright, so, let me go ahead and get this in the right perspective. Whoa, looks purple on the viewfinder, but it's blue in real life. <laughs> so, first we go through the usual song and dance of mounting the C drive, and... There's that, and... Check out your directory. Now, previously on your usual thing, you'll preload it in the C drive folder. Again, go back to the DOSBox setup video, you'll see what, what I'm talking about. Here I have loaded Windows. Always look for that one right there or something. You can actually download a copy of this from this awesome little website. I'll put the link down below. You can either get it completely on ISOs of floppy disk or fully unpacked, but it's great. Great. I like it. And yes, again, link down below. So we have learned an important lesson today here, children. If you're going to have a file on DOS, be sure it's a very simple one and just delete everything off the end. Numbers, spaces, whatever. Just make sure it's ready. Anyways, here we go. Finally got it, went back, and just renamed it and put WFW, almost sounds like a wrestling league. And we are in that file. Go to directory, and boom! You get so much in such a little package. Well, this is just a, you know, let you know, but what you want to do is just go ahead and go for setup. And you get the blue screen. Now, we go ahead and go through your usual setup, which is basically, you know, press enter and press enter again and allow it to do the identifying hardware and the long ass little bar. We shall jump jump. <laughs> Don't you love it? Now you're just getting that good old-fashioned retro load speed. Oh lord. Gotta love it. And it's loaded. Well, that took me by surprise. Ooh. Um, yes. <laughs> um, yes. So, we're going to wait for this. I'm waiting for a network card. Have on now. And hopefully it's detecting the Wi-Fi and moving at the speed of smell and not detecting my mouse for some reason. I, oh, wait, no, you just have to click down on it. There you go. Yes, yes, you can see how much attention I'm paying. Well, first, I guess we need to go ahead and put down all the relevant, you know, info here. So, you know, I'll just put my name. And the company. And your mama. But we'll skip that and just go over here and hit continue because, well, let's face it, yes, this isn't really, you know, basically, it, this is 
freeware at this point in time. Abandoned where? It's been abandoned in the wilds of the internet. Whatever shall it do? Come to my little black box and you can have a home. <laughs> so again, it moves at the speed of smell. So again, we're going to wait and wait, wait and wait and wait. So, buzzow. There we go. We have something happening. And a jump cut later. Ooh, we got a tiny sliver. Look at that. Ooh. So, in case you haven't noticed by this point, that you will be having to wait a while. So, my advice, do this when you have something else to do, or you have a movie to watch, or something of that matter. You never know. Anyways, back to the loading. Well, we finally did it, and it's finally there. Now, it'll ask for a printer attached. Really, it's kind of a moot point, but if you really want to get complicated with it, by all means, please do. And let me know in the comments what happens because I'm quite curious myself it's just right now I just want to get this thing going so we wait for the little thing to keep going and going and going and going and this will pop up and hopefully it will so just go ahead and hit continue and then basically wait some more. It's it takes some time, but hopefully it won't take too long. It's been a while for me. I've done this once. Why does this look purple in the viewfinder? It's all blue. All blue. And then this all pops up. Yes, I was across the room when it started. Kind of ran over here like a kid on Christmas morning. But yeah, it takes a moment. All your apps and stuff, network, and so on and so forth. It's an exciting experience, let me tell you. Especially if you've been waiting a few hours for this stupid thing to finish loading. But yes. Now we have the loading screen of applications and so on and so forth. Yes, I'm going to give you a blow by blow because, well, frankly, I'm not going to make you sit and watch the whole thing in painful detail. And, yay! Just skip this because I'm sure we're all aware of how to use Windows. I mean, we do have Google these days. And, yes. Restart computer. Let it reboot. Well, actually it won't reboot the whole computer. You have to go back into DOS box. But... That is just a few keystrokes away. If I could remember to actually type the entire thing. And boom! Now we mount. And go to said directory. See what we got. There. Now we want to go to Windows. Windows. There. And all the stuff. All of it. And just type in W-I-N. And let's go ahead and get this framed properly. And it's booting. We have the mouse of doom waiting for us and waiting. Ooh. And you get the program manager and the windows and all the other good stuff and ta-da you have windows 3.1 pretty neat huh well 
it moves slow, but it's a good proof of concept, and, well, who knows? Just as long as you have the patience for it. Now, with this, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Maybe it's just, again, as I said before, proof of concept and all that. But, you have it all here, and maybe we'll try another operating system later on. Anyways, that will be it for now. You have fun with this. Go check out my other videos on my other channel, The Strange, as well as other goodies. And remember, this was all just an experiment. Like. Subscribe. Thank you.